Hey, welcome to another SQL tutorial. Sometime back I posted a video about SQL Server deadlock happening within a single table. I got a lot of appreciation, feedback and comments. Thank you so much. And there were a few comments about whether that deadlock has to do anything with a bookmark lookup operation. Now if you watch that video carefully, you will notice that I do briefly mention that the deadlock is actually happening due to a bookmark lookup operation being performed by the select operation. Now I strongly recommend that you watch that video first and then come back and watch this one. So hop over to sqlmaestros.com and go to the video lobby and search using the search box and just type deadlock and that video should show up. In this video, I am going to do a quick recap of what I was doing there and then I will go deep inside the bookmark lookup operation and also show you how you can fix that deadlock. So either way, let's get started. I'm using AdventureWorks 2016 for the purpose of demo and let's first set up this particular record. There is a table called person.person .person, and we are setting the last name as Abel. Let's look at this record which is business entity ID 293. This is important because we're going to select this record. There are other attributes that we are going to play with like person type and last name Abel. Now, you know that for a deadlock to happen, you need at least two resources and two users. I mean, for a typical cyclic deadlock to happen. So let's do that simulation. I'm going to pull up a new query window and copy this code as connection one. Let's go and copy this and put it up here and then right click on this one and set this up as a vertical tab group. So I'm going to swap this one here. Let's do that. And okay, right, let's do this one as vertical tab group. Okay, now we are good. So we, we are going to simulate this as user one, connection one, transaction one, whatever you want to call this. And what is this user doing? In a while loop, we are updating person dot person and we are setting last name to Bunsil. Remember the value here right now is Abel and we are setting it to Bunsil where business entity ID is 293. So this is going to run in a continuous while loop. And what are we going to do in connection two? Let's call this as connection two. In connection two, I am selecting from the same table person dot person. Now this was the crux of the previous demo that I talked about. So you have a single resource here, a single object, which is person dot person. And you will see the deadlock happening with the single object here. And uh, what are we doing? We are saying select person type. This is one of the attributes where uh, from person dot person where last name is equal to able. And we're running this as well in a while loop. And while both of these are running, you will see that a deadlock will happen. So let's get started. I am going to select this and run the select operation. So this is running in a while loop. And while that is going on, I'm going to run this one as well in a while loop. And if you wait for a few seconds, there you go. Look on the right side, you see transaction process ID was deadlocked on resources with another process and has been chosen as the deadlock victim, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so a deadlock has happened. Now, as I said, I'm not going to go into the depth of what really happened. Again, please go and watch that video, but a quick recap here. Behind the scenes, there are two objects in reality, not a single object. So you have person dot person, and there is actually a non-clustered index on last name. So what happens is when this update operation is going on, it has to update the base table as well as update the value in the non-clustered index. So think about this update as a two prone update operation. First updating the base table and the um, index itself, non-clustered index. You know, non-clustered index is a separate storage structure. So you actually have two storage structure. And while this is going on in a continuous while loop, you have a select operation happening. And this is the key. The select operation is selecting um, this particular attribute called person type. Now person type as a column is not available in the non-clustered index. So the optimizer deploys an index seek on that specific index on which, which you have on last name. But to get this additional column person type, which is not in the index, it performs a bookmark lookup. So it's holding a shared lock on the index record where last name is equal to able and then wants a shared lock on the 
record on the base table but then unfortunately that specific record on the base table is already having an exclusive lock by connection one so a scenario while both of them are running in a while what happens is both of them are holding exclusive lock on their respective resource i would not say exclusive lock only the update holds the exclusive lock and the connection two is holding a shared lock now connection one wants an exclusive lock on the index but exclusive is not compatible with shared so it has to wait and while that is happening connection two wants a shared lock on that same record on which there is already an exclusive lock by connection one which is again incompatible which causes the deadlock well i told you i will do a quick recap but i just did everything what i did in video one anyway now let's go deeper into why is this really happening now on the face of it as i said it's looking like deadlock within a single table but let's go one level deeper so i'm going to choose this select person type from person dot person where last name is equal to able and i'm going to turn on actual execution plan okay so let's do this and let's pull this right a bit here and execute this jump over to the execution plan and what you are going to see as i said the bookmark lookup operation so you can see an index seek is being performed on an index called ix underscore person underscore last name something something and then because this index does not have this attribute person type it has to get this from the base table and that is being done by this key lookup so if you take the cursor over key lookup and observe the output list so you can see this is the object and you can see the output list person type now this issue this deadlock is happening due to this bookmark lookup and the question is if you get rid of this bookmark lookup there may be blocking there may be a locking scenario but there will not be a deadlock that's the point so let's see what you can do so as I said, if you look into this SP help index with this uh, table person dot person, you can see the current indexes. And this is the index that's being used by the optimizer, which is person underscore last name, first name. That's the one that's being used. So you have two options. I mean, the idea is simple. You got to create a covering index. So modify an existing index and include person type so that there is no bookmark lookup. The attributes that this select operation wants which is person type or any other column that's available in the index so either you can modify the existing index or you can create a new index i would um, not touch an existing index because this existing index might be used by a lot of different uh, workloads and i definitely do not want to fiddle with that so and of course for the purpose of demo let's go and create a new index i'm going to call this as ix text and you can see i am putting down uh, two attributes here last name and person type i put last name as the first column because last name is in my predicate here and i want to seek on this column and i'm also putting person type i can also include uh, person type so i mean let's not get into index tuning at this point you can because we are not seeking on person type person type should can and very well be part of the include list but anyway let's create this multi-column index here let's do this and now you have a new index and i just want to verify the, if this index is being used so let's call this select person type uh, select query once more and click on execute jump over to the execution plan and yes the new index that we created is being used and yes there is no bookmark lookup anymore so uh, there is no need for this user to go and touch the base table so as i said while there might be a blocking scenario there will not be a deadlock let's test this so i'm going to reset the values once more so just go up here and set this back to able let's do this and we have done it and let's go down and start your select operation while loop let's go and do this oops let me stop this because i want to turn off the actual execution plan and now let's do this once more. Okay, so your while loop select operation is going on. And of course, no issue till this point. And now run this one. And both of them are running. Both the users are running. And this could be a blocking scenario, a long running query workload, long running locking scenario. But there will be no deadlock simply because now 
while user one still wants access to both the resources updating the base table as well as the non-clustered index but the select query does not want access to the base table the attributes the column the select query wants they are available now in the index ix text that we have created okay friends so we are good with this let's go and stop this one and let's go and stop this one as well and let's do a bit of cleanup so let's drop this index and reset the values back to able okay we're done with this tutorial hope you liked it hop over to sqlmaestros.com become a free member and you can access the entire video lobby um, and as when you become a free member you get access to all our learning resources and if you're watching this on youtube uh, subscribe to the channel subscribe to the bell um, click on the bell icon to get uh, notifications on new video and yes share this content with your friends and colleagues see you soon in another video goodbye